I'm Nick Harmeyer. I'm the founder of V3 Fights. My name is Raul Jeevan. I'm the director of operations for V3 Fights. I've known Raul since college. He, he's just such a people person, and he's been a big asset to V3 Fights. It's kind of funny how it even came about. I used to do these parties in college. When we did the parties, Raul worked the door. Nick and I became friends about 15 years ago through his brother and then we were throwing these college parties. As I'm seeing the sport of MMA grow, that all kind of rolled into V3 fights. When V3 first started up, it was just a small little, like 20 people at the fight. You know, I was doing everything from building the cage to, and I'm still extremely hands-on. I mean, now it's managing, you know, between staff, fighters, and fans. So it just grew more and more and more to what it is today. My name is Rod Galvin and I'm the V3 Fights Matchmaker. Rod kind of contacted us and was like, I want to be a part of it. And I was like, what do you do? He's like, I'm an English teacher. I was like, perfect. We need someone to write. I started covering all the local fights in town and hooked up with V3 Fights and got along great with them, started hanging out with them and just worked my way up to Matchmaker. I'm Jason Lederfein, I'm the V3 Director of Social Media fighter relations and I'm on the broadcast team. So Jason, he at first reached out to us and he was like, I don't care what I have to do, I just want to be a part of it. I went to the Army and with the goal of wrestling for the Army, I got sent to Iraq and I didn't compete again. I came to the show, I was really impressed with it, and I said, hey, if you've ever got a spot, I'd like to come out and fight. I had a really good social media campaign where Nick saw what I could do on social media and that's when I took over social media for V3. My name is Michael Kelly, I'm the ring announcer for V3 Fights. I mean, Mike Kelly, he's a character and then he is just grown into such a strong announcer. I've been an announcer for a while and I was really interested, so I sent him a Facebook message. He said, hey, we'll give you a shot. We're all a really tight-knit group. You know, we're on group text. We have a lot of fun, we go out. And especially during weigh-ins and the night after during fight night, we always have a good time. I mean, we really have a special team. We know what it takes to put on a successful event. My role with V3 as Director of Operations is so we build the cage, we build the VIP section and we build the stage. All that takes about eight hours. On fight day itself, when we first open doors, I'm out front the whole time. So then if there's any questions that we'll call, it can be resolved like that. My job is stressful leading up to the fight. Just making sure you know everyone's on weight. A lot of phone calls, a lot of texts, a lot of Facebook. I'll sit up front, I'll check in the fighters. We'll have our rules meeting. I'll hand it over to the ISKA and the commission. And then I'm a fight fan. My role with V3 Fights is being the in-cage announcer. You know, it's all about preparation. When I come into this arena, I have so much passion. Let me hear you make some noise! What I want to convey to each one of the fans is, is like, it's about to go down. Like, you're gonna have a great experience here at V3. You know, for me, I've got the best seat in the house. I do the analyzing of what's going on. You know, I know the fighters personally. A lot of these guys, I go to their gyms, I work out with them. It benefits the audience listening because I give them information they wouldn't normally get. It's kind of a feather in my cap. On days of fights, I cut my grass. I know it's gonna be a good fight day if I can wake up, eat a little breakfast, play with my little girl, go cut the grass. We have such a strong team to where I'm not worried about any of it. Memphis fans love us, but now people from even outside of the MMA circle are starting to come to the fights because it's more than just fights. It's like a fun atmosphere. It's not just a fight. We want to make sure that it's a weekend event. It's grown into a culture. The one thing that we always do is we keep growing and we keep progressing. I, mean, I want people to be excited when, uh, when we come to town and I think we have something good going here and I think we can do that and accomplish that. And now with the uh, acquisition with Alliance MMA, they acquired the five biggest and baddest MMA companies in the country. Luckily enough, we were considered one of them and now we're publicly traded on the NASDAQ. What other Memphis companies can you say that have went public in the last five years? One of the biggest things I want this city to know about us is we're based in Memphis. Memphis is home. We love the fans here and we know that every time we have a fight here, it's gonna be a sellout. The relationship E3 has with Memphis is, is growing. We're on the radio, we're more mainstream. We've done FedEx Forum. We make a good home here at Minglewood Hall. We're here to stay and we are something that we're extremely proud of and we want the city to be proud of us too.